Kia ora, I'm Jamie from the Mountain Safety Council. Today we're going to look at deep slabs and travel considerations when this avalanche problem exists. Deep slab avalanches occur when the bond between a thick cohesive layer of hard snow and the underlying layer breaks deep in the snowpack or near the ground. Deep slabs are destructive events that are especially difficult to manage and forecast for. They commonly develop when persistent slabs thicken over time and can last for months. Deep slabs are characterised by hard to trigger but deadly events due to the enormous mass of snow involved. They are most commonly triggered from areas where the snowpack is relatively shallow, such as rock outcrops or margins of the slab in wind affected terrain. They typically fail naturally from significant loading events, abrupt weather changes or cornice falls. Direct feedback from the problem is rare. Thus, tracks on a slope are not an indicator of stability. Deep slabs may be triggered remotely, like from flatter terrain below. They require a very wide margin for error. Travel considerations include traveling where the snowpack is consistently deep and uniform or avoiding avalanche terrain where the problem exists. Check avalanche.net.nz for your region's local forecast.